Hi, I'm Alistair Ben. Welcome to Case Study 1. Um, in this first one, we're going to look at pretty much the most simple scenario that we come across virtually every time we go out into the field. Um, in image one, we have a well-exposed sky uh, taken well after sunset. You can see a couple of stars up there. And we have a foreground image, which was actually a 10-minute exposure in order to bring out all the detail that was there. And what we've done is we've created a big long star trails here, which, which isn't really what I wanted to achieve in this image at all. So what we're going to do is blend these two images together in Photoshop. Lightroom doesn't have any facility to deal in layers, but it does have gradients. Uh, so some may argue that you could say, well, you know, why don't we take uh, this, uh, this image here and get a gradient and holding down the shift key, create a, a darker sky. Um, that's nearly three stops of, of darkening. Um, but stylistically, for this one, I didn't want the star trails. I mean, and there's plane trails and all sorts of stuff in there that's kind of getting in the way. Um, so for, for this image, uh, you know, all I'm wanting to do is have a nice clean sky and a nice clean foreground. So in this most simple scenario, we have both our images selected. We right click and go open as layers in Photoshop. Now we're going to use a simple gradient pretty much as we've done here uh, to combine these two files. And we can do that because we've got no C stacks getting in the way. There's nothing, as we can see now in Photoshop, there's nothing coming over the horizon to, to any great degree. Um, that's going to get in the way and cause a problem. If there was a big C stack here uh, and we draw a dark gradient through it, it's going to darken that uh, protrusion uh, as much as it darkens the sky and we're going to end up with something that looks really fake and unnatural. So with this we have the sky layer on top and the foreground layer on the bottom. Uh, we do this by creating a mask which is just a simple white mask, which means we can still see everything from the top layer. And then we use the gradient tool and with white on the top and black beneath, we create our line again by holding down the shift key, drag and release. Um, you can play around with trial and error with this because you'll see the shorter the line, the more pronounced the, uh, the gradient between the two. We can have something that's reasonably diffused um, because it's just a nice gentle transition. And as you can see now, we now have the, the sky from the top layer and the foreground from the bottom layer. This darkening that we see on the horizon uh, is fairly typical. I mean, it's not a massive problem. It's not darkened it to such an extent that it's become ugly or unattractive, but it's darkened it enough to, to create a reasonably natural look because as we look towards the horizon in reality, there tends to be some darkening anyway as light starts to fade off. Um, so there we are. That's pretty much the most essential technique that we need to learn is using layers, using gradients, or using masks to, to blend these images. We'll be moving on to far more complex situations further on down the line, but for now, um, that's it for case study one.